Hello and welcome back to Icebane Gaming's Month of Valentine's Every Hole is a Goal Spectacular. Today we don't exactly have coal with us, but I'll make do. Bring light to the elephant in the room, I've missed the last couple of days of edits and uh, posts on my channel. Well, I've been busy. Anywho, I'm hoping to not have a repeat of this. I'm not staying true to my event, but whatever. We'll keep moving. Today, we're going to be playing Fox Hime. A game about dating fox girls. Japanese kaiju kitsune. Or, uh, yokai kitsune. They aren't kaiju. Kaiju are big yokai. Whatever. Just weebs being weebs. Alright. Mm. Alrighty, getting started, I see. A furry tail is flapping at the edge of the bed above when I wake this uh when I wake this morning. Seems she hasn't uh, hidden her tail again. Fortunately, no one else is in the bedroom, otherwise I'd it <sighs> Seems she hasn't hidden her tail again. Fortunately, no one else in the bedroom. Seems she hasn't hidden her tail again. Fortunately, no one else is in the bedroom. Ah, okay. So it's not just me being bad at reading, it's broken English. Fair enough. Otherwise, it'd be terrible if others see that. After all, she is a fox spirit. A kitsune. I have a mischievous idea after seeing it while getting up and dressed. I reach out to touch that flapping tail. However, as soon as I touch that tail, it withdraws into the curtain. What do you think you're doing? <clears throat> yeah, that was a terrible voice. What do you think you're doing? Followed by a rebuke from the girl with a tail. You're awake? Then get up quickly. Why is she so careless uh, when, since she's awake? Isn't she afraid of frightening others? Is there anyone that could yell like you? The girl with the tail opened the curtain and leaned out. Her face is so close to mine as if we're going to kiss. I just saw that t a tail that was flapping, so I accidentally... Okay, so Yan, I'm just gonna assume is us, so I'm just gonna do that with my normal voice. That girl with the tail is Mori, a fox spirit who lives with me. You shouldn't do that again. Okay, okay. I won't do it that again, but you need to hurry. My first class is in the, uh, this morning is linear algebra, and the teacher is so strict he would almost always check the attendance in every class, so I don't want to be wait late. What time is it now? Almost half past eight. Really? Mori looks around and glances at the alarm clock. What? It's already half past eight. Why didn't you wake me up earlier if you had the time to touch my tail? Turn away! Okay, fine, Lady Mori. Damn it, is there any reason for her to go and uh, to get so mad when she turned off the alarm herself? Hmm. When Mori closed the curtain, I turned away at the same time. And she asked. Like, three times we repeat things. There's a rustling sound of clothes and the bed squeaking from behind the curtain. She must have be changing her clothes. Followed by that set of sounds where she's getting out of bed and climbing down the wooden ladder softly. I'm done. This time you've changed your clothes really quickly. Really? I think I was around the same pace as my previous one. I didn't feel that. 
By the way, Mori, do I have to turn away every time? Of course, we're adults now. I can't possibly change clothes in front of you. No, I mean, I can't see anything even if I don't turn away. The curtain is closed tight. Mori seems to notice that as well. But speaking as a girl, the curtain has nothing to do with this. By the way, if I turned around, you could sense it from behind that curtain? Of course. You forgot who I am? Okay, that's all. I'm going for a wash. Okay. I guess I did forget who you were. After her wash, Mori went back into the bedroom to prepare her for her class. Then it's my turn to use the bathroom. I wasted too much time because I didn't check myself before I wrecked myself and said too much. I could only brush my teeth and wipe my face quickly before going out. At least he had time to wipe his face, Jesus. Mori also happens to be closing the door at this time. Okay. Let's, <clears throat> let's go. Remember to hide your ears and tail. Beware of people who might catch you for scientific research. Alright. I will. Why are humans so wicked? It's not fair to blame all humans. I mean some people. Most of us are very kind. Press X to doubt. For example, there's a good guy who won't peep at a pretty girl getting dressed every morning. Nice guys finish last, eh? Are you going to talk about yourself? The girl has an acute sense which is unexpected. She's a kitsune, she's supposed to be a guardian spirit, of course she would know everything. Well, well of course, it's okay for me to, to take me as an example. Not like I wanted you to or anything. Hmm. All in all, you're actually okay. Wow, that took quite little to convince her. Of course, I don't abduct you to do any form of research. Yikes. But sometimes you'd act just like a child who never really grew up. That's really annoying. Isn't it good to retain some innocence of a, a child would have? Come on, you'll never find a girlfriend if you keep acting like this. So we're not? Alright. Suddenly, Mori started to talk with a serious expression. Since you said that, I will find a girlfriend and show her to you. Don't cry and say that you're so lonely by then. Don't be so arrogant until you really find one. Then we just keep arguing with each other and walked out of our residence, an old bookstore that permitted us to work here. It's a sunny day, which is hot as hell. Schoolgirls walking along the street are already holding up their umbrellas. Uh, parasols? Umbrellas are for rain. Achievement get. The beginning. Maxime, alright. Main theme, where are you? Composer, lyricist, and singer, I cannot read. Whomst of the fuck? Sorry, I might be a weeb, but I don't know any of this language. What's happening? Oh, an uh, English word. Leah. Fantastic. Hmm. Whomstiv is this? Oh, someone we recognize. A lot of question marks. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. We already saw this. Mori! Yay! Introduction to the character we already saw. Alright. Oh, she's scared. Why is that?
Alright, guess we're enjoying a dessert together. Looks like we just moved. Ah. Oh. She looks a lot more mature in this picture. Also, why a sun flare? Whatever. Ah, classic kimono. Now that's the garb that a kitsune would be wearing. Not this schoolgirl crap. A6 Art, 2017. Alright. Ah, oh, sudden music change. It's so hot, Mori. Isn't it better to hold an umbrella to protect you from this non-existent rain? Why? I'm not afraid of the sun. But that'll look so more similar to a human girl, see? They're all holding umbrellas. Because they're weak. Yeah, you have a point. Hmm. Then she takes out a sea blue umbrella from her satchel. Hey. Let me hold it. Why, thank you. Then she passes the handle to me. I take it, open it, and tilt the umbrella slightly towards her. Wow, I got quite a firm and steady grip on this thing. Not moving at all. Also, why is it transparent? If it's supposed to protect from the sun, then why would you have a transparent umbrella? <sighs> and why isn't it a parasol? Maybe I know the reason why I don't have a girlfriend. Huh? Why? You see, we'd always go to university together. Others must have thought that you're my girlfriend. So how would other girls dare to approach me? How would you dare to approach them? Maury stops and looks at me scornfully. I can think of another reason why you don't have a girlfriend. Why? You're small dick. Putting the blame on a weak girl like me. Do you think you can find a girlfriend? Well, she has a point. She's probably got more power than this guy has in his entire body and her pinky finger. Um. See? You're speechless. Does it make sense? You're being irrational. You aren't weak. But there's logic in this. See, because of me, there are so many people who would pay attention to you every day. And that would greatly increase the chance that girls will know you. That should work to your advantage. Being possessed by evil spirits is an advantage? So is she a, not a guardian kitsune, but in trickster kitsune? Then why would the trickster Kitsune live with him? Oh, whatever. <sighs> I'm a weeb. I just don't know everything about Japan. I guess. Whatever. Evil? Mori stops again and begins to take something from her satchel. Soon she's holding up a notebook and starts to bluster. So as I write about her being a guardian... She taps my hand that's holding an umbrella, like a dragonfly skimming over the water. Screw you! Don't you dare call me an evil spirit again. Fair enough. Oh no, please spare me, great fox. Hmm. Right now we're overhearing other students' conversations when they walk near us. Look, look! A couple started flirting with each other when the sun was just risen. The man who even called the girl like some kind of great one. That's really too much. Wow, that was a jarring music change. Mori is a fox spirit from the Fane in our town. If I have to say something about her, she can be considered a goddess. My mom said... 
I had cried excessively after I was born, and I seemed to cry without end, as that's what excessively means. Although, crying is normal for a baby. None would cry as severely as I did. When I grew up, I asked my mom. Since I cried so severely back then, how did I get cured? Oh, that's a really troublesome one. <laughs> oh, Mom laughed after hearing my question. We went to many hospitals and saw many doctors. All of them said you were fine. Oh, that was so frustrating. Afterwards, at one time while you were on the way out of the hospital, we came across a parade during a festival. You cried again, but you still wanted to see the percussion while crying. The procession. So I held you up and made a wish to the fox effigy at the head of the procession. I made a wish that the fox would, spirit would shine to guard you as you grow up. Then you immediately stopped crying when the procession passed. It's so amazing. Of course. The fox spirit has answered a lot of prayers. See, she has been with you since. Indeed, that is the case. The fox spirit has manifested itself as Mori who has been at my side throughout as long as I can remember. Also, she's really different from humans. Sometimes her fox tail and ears would be exposed, as is expected from a fox spirit. So, when will Mori leave me and stop protecting me? When Yan Chan is old enough. But when am I old enough? At that moment, my mom just smiled and became quiet. But somehow I kept wondering when would Mori leave me. We arrived at the school canteen. I'd like the deluxe sandwich today. Go ahead, I'm not stopping you. But... Mori swiped her debit card at the machine and displayed a string of red zeros. The manager paid your salary a few days ago. You've spent it all of it? Girls are different from boys. They spend their money on things which cost more. Wow. Was this game made by Japanese men then, or what? Um... <laughs> That seems to make sense. Fine, it's on me. Auntie, two deluxe sandwiches. <laughs> Yanchan is so reliable. Okay. We brought our breakfasts. We bought our breakfast, found a spare table, and sat down. Although it's mo almost time for class, the canteen is still crowded with students. College students sure are, uh, like to take their time without worrying about getting into hot water for being late. Yeah, one time I showed up at literally the last five minutes of class, got the assignment, then left. College is fun. I got an A on the assignment, by the way. I know my science. Anyway, I want to learn this character's backstory, this one in the background. The one with the eyes. It looked like they could just stare you deep in your soul. Pierce you. Kill you without a second thought. Anyways. Hurry up and eat. It's almost time for class. Our linear algebra teacher is very strict. He will check attendance at every class. That sounds terrible. He can't get your friends to answer for you. You sure do have mischievous ideas. Fortunately, I'm too strong-willed, or I would have ha the same bad habits as you sooner or later. You taught me this trick. Mori raised her head and stared at me. Eh, 
Really? I can't remember that. <laughs> I said that you're reliable just now. I should take my back my words. Even though you bought me a sandwich. In fact, I don't have any close friends that would help me answer the teacher's roll call. Our school adopted an optional class system, so even if you're assigned in the same class, but you choose different teachers, you wouldn't have classes together. So... You'd choose different teachers and then wouldn't have the same classes together. Of course that's gonna happen. You need to choose the same teacher in the same classroom. That's how you get put together with others. After classes, it's impossible for everyone to gather out because of, it's a free period. College is unique to the person. It shouldn't be like, oh, you have set period one and free period and lunch period. It's literally make your own schedule. The way I did it was have like five classes in the afternoon spread out through the week. And then, like, throughout the rest of the day, I'd just be eating and bullshitting and shit. Whatever. Hence, it's unlikely for the students to become friends with each other unless they are fellow roommates. For Maury and me, both of us took the same part-time job together. Both of us are living in together in the same room that books are offered. Since we aren't staying in the dormitories, we aren't close to anyone besides each other. All right, and with that, I'm going to have to say that's all for episode one of Fox Hime. Thank you all very much for watching. In today's episode, we got an introduction to uh, Miru. Yeah, sure. That's probably what her name was. Anyways, thank you all so very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever is your sort of thing. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.